Hello and welcome to this video on interest rates. I hope you find it very interesting. In this video we're going to be looking at what is meant by interest rates, how the government use interest rates to control inflation and how interest rates affect businesses. Let's start off by posing you a question. Are you affected by interest rates? Well if you're lucky enough to have a few pounds stashed away in a savings account then the chances are that you probably are. If you are a saver, you may have deposited money with a bank. And to compensate you or to thank you for your deposit in the bank, the bank will normally agree to pay you interest on the money that you've saved. So they will add to your account a certain percentage each year. If this was your account, savers would be earning 1.6% added to their account every year. The flip side of this though, is if you're like me, a borrower, you may have taken a loan from the bank, borrowed money from the bank, and in that situation, the interest rate you pay, for example here, 4.9% on a loan to buy a car, is the amount you pay in addition to the repayment of the loan. You pay interest back to the bank on top. So interest rates are the cost of borrowing or the reward for saving. Often you may hear them described as being the price of money. If you want to get your hands on some money, you might go to the bank, but the price they will charge you is the interest you have to pay back on top. Normally the rate of interest takes into account the level of risk. If you are saving money, you will normally demand a higher rate of interest if you consider the person you're lending your money to to be riskier. And likewise, if you're borrowing money and you're considered quite risky, then the rate of interest you'll be charged is likely to be higher to compensate the bank for the risk they're taking in giving you the money. Now let's look at how the government use interest rates to control inflation. Well it's not really the government, it's the state and in particular this institution here. This institution is called the Bank of England. A little note, no windows on the ground floor so you can't steal the gold. Now the Bank of England in the UK control interest rates and they also regulate the financial industry so they're in charge of making sure all the banks run smoothly. In Europe the equivalent body is called the European Central Bank and they control interest rates in the Eurozone so that's the countries that use the Euro. Again similar to the Bank of England they are responsible for regulating the financial industry and they operate from this very nice modern building in Frankfurt. Now both the Bank of England and the European Central Bank have had very low interest rates or set very low interest rates for many years. This is the UK base rate between 1976 and 2016 and you can see that interest rates have recently been at very low levels 0.5% and 0.25%. In the Eurozone, the European Central Bank's interest rate again has been very low recently, in fact as low as 0% in the end of 2016. Now the bank can control the economy by raising or lowering interest rates. So let's have a little look at what might happen if interest rates were to fall. And we normally look at the effect on borrowers. More money is borrowed in the economy than is saved. So let's consider the effect on borrowers. Well, if interest rates fall and you are a borrower, like me, then the cost of your mortgage or your loan is reduced, meaning you can spend more money. If you're spending more and you're paying less back in debt, you're probably more com confident as a consumer, maybe spending more on businesses. Your disposable income will rise, the income that you can spend on things that are not necessities or regular payments. If we flip it around for businesses, if the interest rates are lower, they may be more keen to borrow money and invest. A significant effect comes through the housing market. Most people, perhaps your parents, main debt is the mortgage and if interest rates fall down they pay less back perhaps on their mortgage and so they have got more spare money to spend on other things. If there is more spending and more investment, then we're likely to see higher inflation prices rising quicker. 
What might happen if interest rates were to rise? Well again, let's go through the chain of events. If the Bank of England raises interest rates, the cost of borrowing rises. The main effect is likely to be through mortgages again, loans taken out to buy houses. Higher mortgage repayments reduce household income, there is less spare money to go around. Also it's likely there are going to be higher repayments on other forms of debt like credit cards or personal loans and a slowdown in the rising house prices in the housing market. So there will be less lending and less borrowing, less spending and less investment and so lower price rises. So how do the government influence inflation? Well if they raise interest rates, make it more expensive to borrow, this slows down the economy and lowers inflation. If they cut or reduce interest rates, this will lead to more spending and investment, higher economic growth and faster inflation. Now let's look at how interest rate changes may affect businesses. Well, if a firm has loans or overdrafts, this will affect the amount that has to be paid back, which is a cost to a business. It will influence how much investment the business undertakes. If interest rates are low, then investment will be more affordable. If interest rates are high, then it will be less affordable. There are other effects of interest rates on businesses as well. If interest rates are high, saving is more attractive and spending is less attractive. Interest rates will also affect customers willing to spend on credit. If interest rates are high, they'll be less willing to take out new credit cards and loans. High interest rates will also mean that customers have less disposable income. Their existing repayments on their mortgage and other debts will rise, so there'll be a fall in demand for other products, which will impact on businesses' revenues. Our last point, often higher interest rates mean foreign investors will want to move their money into UK banks in order to reap the returns of higher interest and this will see demand for the pound rise and its value appreciate, making exports less competitive. So in this video we've looked at interest rates, the role of the central bank and how interest rate changes may affect businesses.